Now it's time for the Eliminator RC Tip of the Week. Hi, I'm Ryan for Eliminator RC. This week's tech tip is going to be disassembling and reassembling plastic universal joints. Well, if your car has these, as you know, sometimes they do break or you need to replace them because they do get worn out. We're going to show you the easy way of doing it because I've seen a lot of people over the years struggle trying to get them in dry and then have problems with them snapping later because you've already stretched the plastic and weakened it. What you're going to need for this is a cup of boiling hot water. The reason you need the water is you need to soak the ends so that the plastic expands and it's a lot easier to work with. That way you're not stressing the plastic, you're only going to want to sit it in there for a minute or two just to make sure that the plastic gets evenly warm and then it's going to expand and the core of it's not going to be cold still so it could snap. Now that we've let them soak for a couple minutes, you've got to be careful to make sure that it's not too hot for you to handle. And most of your cars will come with a little tool like this just to pop the U-joint apart. And simply all you're going to do is put it under, pry back, push, and it comes apart. And you do the same thing for this end. Put it under, pull out, and it comes apart that easy. No struggling, no yelling, and no hurt fingers from slipping with the pliers and stabbing yourself. Now it's time for the reassembly. I'm going to throw them back in the water and let them soften up again just to make my life a lot easier. Now that I've taken them out of the water, and again, be very careful because they are still very hot. And if you're unsure, you might want to put on a set of mechanics gloves just to make sure you don't burn your fingers. Grab the U-joint. Place one end in. If you get it lined up, you can simply just push it on in. Same thing for the coupler here. Line it up, push, and it goes right in with no fuss. And by doing it like this, you haven't weakened any of the parts, so it's going to be even stronger than if you just stretched it with pliers and snapped it in. Now that your drive shafts have been rebuilt, you can go ahead and put them back in your truck and get back out there and rip up some terrain with them. I'm Ryan from Limited RC. I got another side of this axle to rebuild. Do you find your hobby life flatlining a little bit? Here at Limited RC, we're here to revive you. Hi, I'm Ryan. And I'm Dylan. How about trying something new in the hobby, like planes and boats? Helicopters or cars? Quadricopters. There's always something new and exciting to explore. How about coming down to get yourself a new toy at Eliminator RC, e-rc.ca, or 120 Higgins Avenue in Winnipeg, 1-800-870-6346.